Welcome to another video tutorial from Jack's Tech Corner. This is a tutorial on Adobe Photoshop Element 6, the organizer. Now in my last video we've imported or downloaded the pictures from our memory card or our camera onto our computer. Then, as you've seen in the, the importing video, the pictures were immediately put into the organizer for us. These are the pictures that were recently imported. So let's go ahead and begin talking a little bit about the organizer and how it actually works. First, I'd like to show everybody the little slider bar here at the top. This slider bar is used to make the thumbnails smaller or much larger. Or you can look at your pictures one at a time if you go all the way over. And then we can go down here and just scroll down through our pictures. And we can look at each individual picture itself. And when they first come in, they're going to look a little bit out of focus, but then the, the program actually focus, uh, sets the focus of the actual picture. Let's go back to the thumbnail view. Back to the thumbnail view. All right, there we go. Now, the first thing I like to do whenever I import pictures into the organizer is I want to actually put them into an album. And the way we do this, we simply go over here under albums and there's a little plus sign. As you can see, I already set up one main category for birthdays and then I have individual albums under birthdays. So let's go up here and click his pull down menu and we're going to click on new album group. Let's give it a group name of test shots D80. That's the camera I was using. Click OK. That's going to give us another album group called test shots. Then to further organize, because this is all organizing your photos, we want to build an album just for these individual pictures. So with that highlighted, you can go up here and click on new albums. You can see the group we had it highlighted so it says test shots D80 and let's give this a title of test shots I do a lot of test shooting and the date we did it on and click OK. Now as you can see the thumbnail on that particular album is a question mark. You can see that right here question mark on there as you can see there's nothing in there. Let's go back. We just use the back buttons up here back and forward just like a, a web browser would be. Now we're going to select all the pictures that we we just have uh, imported from our camera or our memory card. Click on the first one you can scroll down you can hold your shift key down click on the last one or if you go and click on edit select all they all get selected they all have a blue ring around them. Now, simply click on the little question mark and drag it over and just drop it on one of the pictures. See what happens. Now we can see all of these pictures are in the album. You can see the little album underneath each of the individual pictures. This is just making it a really nice way for you to find your pictures later on. Because how many times do you look under my computer, then you go into my pictures, and there's a bunch of folders and we click around trying to find that picture that we knew we we have taken a while back but we don't know exactly where that picture might be sitting this way it's very easy to organize our pictures to actually find them now let's talk just briefly about keyword tags under keyword tags you can see I have categories set up if you click here you can see where it says new category so I have categories set for people, places, events, and other. Let's set up a new category for things. So we set up a new category for things. You can give it an icon. Let's look here. Um, we'll give it a picture of a sun. Here's our new category for things. Now, you can label everything in here as things, as a category. 
but we want to break this down to a keyword tag. Let's go to new keyword tag. Now let's put on here uh, radio. You see I have a couple pictures over here of a radio. And we'll click OK. Click on things again. Let's do another new keyword tag for um, Sprint card. That's my internet uh, service provider card there, Sprint card. And with these keyword tags, even though all these pictures are in an album based on when I took them, I'm going to break the pictures down a little bit under keyword tags. The last tag we're going to make here, as you can see, I got two external or a couple of uh, pictures of my external hard drives. So let's put them um, hard drives, just like that. Now we have three different keyword tags we're going to break these pictures down into. So let's begin with the clock radio. Click in the middle here and unselect everything. Now you see there's no more blue around those. Click the first one, you can hold your control key down. Click the second one, that's the radio. Click this radio button, left click it and drag it up and drop it onto one of the pictures. Now you can see we also have it tagged as well as being in an album. It's still in the album, but we also have it tagged individually. Let's go down to the hard drives. Again, hold the control key down, click on each one. And we're going to drag hard drive, drop it onto the hard drives. And then we'll do the same thing with the sprint card. Sprint card, we'll drag that up. Now, now we're ready to actually show you how these filters basically or tags work. If I click on the little box here for hard drives, you can see now I'm able to quickly find my hard drive pictures. Click on radio. Now I have hard drives and the radio. Let's uncheck hard drives. Now we just have radio. Let's click on sprint card. There's the sprint card. Uncheck radio. And there we're back to just a sprint card by itself. Once again, if you go to the top, and you click on albums, the main album here, and you uncheck the sprint card, it's going to again open up that full album. Now, if at that point you want to go back and we want to show all, this is just the pictures we just imported. We have them all set up now. They're ready to roll. Let's go back to show all pictures. Because I've imported pictures before, as you can see. There's some test shots. There's some pictures of a birthday party. And now you're in your album, you have all these pictures, and you're like, wow, I'm really looking for those birthday pictures, and I can't find them. Click on your birthdays, click on the birthday album, and you'll be ready to go, and you'll see your album of all the birthday shots right there, so you can find them very quickly. Let's go down uh, a little bit further here under People, and I also created some tags. Here's a tag of my uh, stepdaughter, Jordan. Let's simply click on that, the little sign. And you see now we've just pulled the pictures out with Jordan in them. Well, that's the organizer. You have to work a little bit. Get your pictures organized. It's going to take you a while, especially if you have a lot of digital pictures. But get those uh, all organized. That's the initial step. And then we'll begin looking at some basic editing and uh, then some advanced editing. Thank you very much for watching the tutorial on the Photoshop Element 6 Organizer. My name is Jack. This is Jack's Tech Corner. And if you have any questions, again, email me at jackstechcorner at gmail.com. Thank you, and I'll see you again soon.